366 Days with Wisdom by Venerable Master Xingyun. September 24th, Movement to Express Our Innate Buddha Nature to Open Sources. Tranquility is treasuring our internal content to decrease outflow. Being able to move and able to be tranquil, only then can one have the life of the middle way. There is an active side and a tranquil side in our life. Some people are active and cannot stay still. Once they are still, they do not know what to do and just idle away their time. Such a person needs to be on the move all the time every day. After hiking and swimming, he wants to play a ball game, followed by visiting friends. In a day, except while asleep, he is never still. It is such a pity that he does not get to enjoy the peaceful and tranquil part of life. Some people prefer a quiet life. They are not active at all. Such a person likes to be secluded, sitting alone in deep thoughts. The most he does is read the papers and listen to music. He is reluctant to take part in any form of activities. His life is dead and dull without any vigour or vitality. In actual fact, even in sitting meditation, after quietly sitting down, we should get up to do walking meditation and prostration to move the limbs. Even in sutra recitation, when chanting the Buddha's name, after the voice movement, the great cultivator will give time for you to close your eyes and meditate, allowing you to experience the peaceful joy of tranquility. Therefore, movement and stillness cannot be separated. When it is time to move, we should move. When it is time to stay still, then we should remain still. To be able to move as well as remain still is the normal way of life. Read, reflect and act. When it is time to move, we should move. When it is time to stay still, then we should remain still. To be able to move as well as remain still is the normal way of life. Please tune in same time tomorrow as we meet on air.